Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we solve the 13th top coding interview question from 48 top coding interview question created the loop code. We will solve this problem using Python. This is a simple problem. Uh, you know, we all we have to do is we simply have to reverse the uh, a given integer. So we have given number as 1 to 3, so we just have to reverse uh, 1 to 3, we just have to reverse 3 to 1. Similarly, if it is a negative number, so same applies. So that's all they are asking us. However, there is one little um, you know, uh, complex part here is, so if the number goes, if the, the integer number which goes beyond, beyond 32 bit sign bit range, which is uh, two, minus 2 raised to uh, 31, uh, 2 plus 2 raised to 31 minus 1, so which is in like a, you know, 2 billion uh, numbers, right, 2 plus billion numbers, you know, this is 123, I can go till 2 billion, nearly 2 billion uh, numbers, so if that crosses, so we have to return re zero. This is a little trickier part. Apart from it's a, it's an easy problem. Uh, let's go to the code. I have a VS code uh, code already code written here. So ignore this part. Ignore this part as of now. Uh, yeah, also ignore this part. So we'll we'll start with one two three. We'll start with one two three. Uh, let me complete this part. Okay. So we'll start with one two three and then uh, run it. So let's run this code. All right, so what I have to do is, so the fir first time the output is zero. The first time the output is zero, uh, I'll start with this. So I'll iterate through all of these elements. I'll iterate through one, two, three. I'll iterate through x. So I input, I'll pass the output. Uh, so basically the, the program starts like this. So I've written input x, the program, I'll call the function, which is this function, reverse function, passing the x value, which is one, two, three. I'll get this output, I'll start with zero x as of now it's 1 to 3 entire element uh, i'll go till I, it, it reaches zeros zero right 1 to 3 it has three element i'll go till uh, the zeroth element once the x come out uh, of zero so now for the first time what i have to do is i simply have to uh, so imagine this is 1 2 3 i simply have to take what this code does is what this line of code does is it will simply take the number and mod it by 10. When I mod it by 10, I'll get third element, last element, which is which is this 3. So basically, I'm extracting from 1 to 3, I'm extracting 1 to 3. Uh, sorry, I'm from 1 to 3, I'm extracting 3. So that is what this code is doing. This mod function is doing, this function is doing, it's extracting the last bit from the least, the integer uh, number. Now I took the last bit. All I have to do is I just have to multiply that with 10. Why I'll multiply that with 10? I'll tell you in a moment. So once I once I it's a once I process the last element, I have to reduce the x, right? Because in a for loop or while loop, either you increase or decrease, right? Till you reach the last element. Uh, so here I, I got the last last digit. Now I have to decrease the value which is there in x. So digits basically. That's the reason this what is doing is doing integer division. When I do 1, 2, 2, 3, 123 divided by 10, so I'll get 12. Integer division I'm talking about. I'm talking about integer division. So if you see last digit is 3, which is which is which is this. Now x left with because I process 3, uh, x left with 1, 2. So now what all I have to do is I simply have to last last digit rate, I have to append to the output. For the first time, output is multiplied with 10. Uh, I'll tell you in a, in a, in a next iteration why we multiply. And the last bit is 3, so the output is 3. All right, so if you see the output is 3, so it went comes from 3 to um, 0 to 3. So the next is now I have x which is 1, 2. Now from 1, 2, I extract 2 by taking a mod 10. All right, last bit is 2. Can you see? Now because I process from 1, 2, I process 2, so I just have to reduce the x value. So this becomes 1, okay. So 2 is reduced from the x. So now I left with only x. Now here is the problem. Here is the uh, a catch here. So right now, I in the output I have three, right? Right now in the output I have three. Now I also have in the last bit I have two, right? This is 32, 32. So I have to append two to. So basically, I can't directly append it, right? So that's the reason. What I do is it's 32, right? So the output is three. The output is as of now, if you see the output is three. I'll multiply three with ten. So that becomes 32. Then last digit which I already have, so when I multiply output 3 with 10, so that becomes 30. If you see this becomes 30, output 3 into 10 which becomes 30 plus the last digit, last digit is 2, so it becomes 32. So 
so that's the reason now it becomes 32 right that's the reason we multiply that with uh, or is it is simply you know you you are adding this numbers right so it will become 5 something like that. so if 3 plus uh, 2 it becomes uh, 5 so basically we have to put it in a uh, you know those uh, bits as well right so ones place tens place because of that because of that i am multiplying that with uh, a 10 so that's how i i, I get uh, this 32 so now i left with uh, x is left with uh, uh, 1 right i'll process take i'll take that last digit so which is 1 now this will become 0 right this becomes 0 right and then now again i multiply so i i have uh, uh, 3 2 i'll multiply 3 2 and then i'll i'll get a, a 100 so so that's how 321 i get the output so that is how i i basically multiply this with uh, and i'll get the output now the trickier part is this so what happens so the maximum maximum number digit what if i i get a, a number which is which is beyond beyond the integer range so that is what this code is doing so it's basically checking it's basically hard coded values what is doing is so what, what can you tell me what exactly this this does this integer division this is not, nothing but same as this so basically it takes the maximum uh, it, it reduces the numbers right when when i when i divide this one two three we divide by you know max integer division so i get this one two right that is what it this does this does what does this give me this gives me this gives me the last digit last digit this last digit of this this is the last digit what does this gives me this gives me this entire list this entire list right what does this gives me this will give me the same list but from here to here except the last element right it will chop the last element what does this give me this gives me the last bit so basically i have to check if my result is is in this range that is what this code is doing so let's debug again so what this does what this does is so let's take the same example all right so i have one two three so i'll get three okay all right so here so i'll take the maximum maximum integer right max integer divided by integer division by 10 max integer is this integer divided by 10 means it chops up this gives me this number that is what it does all right can you see it gave me number from here to here so basically i'll check if this any of these number in this case if you see the output which is result is it greater than this number is it greater than this number any of my one two three one two three is it greater than this number if it is greater than this number then you are you are basically getting uh, uh, you just have to return zero that is what it does can you see this the same code output okay so if it is greater it, it is not equal to great it is not greater than this but it is equal to it is equal to this number if it is equal to this number within the range if it is equal to this range it the number is equal to this range if the result of this is same as this then it is within the range however there is one more additional catch so the last digit last digit of the result last digit of the result is it also greater than uh, this number which is which is you know 7 so is it 8 if this comes like a 2 1 4 7 4 8 3 6 8 then it is beyond right because we have to go within within 7 within within this range so if it is 8 last digit is 8 then that is what the condition is okay let's say the output equal to maximum integer maximum int right uh, which is which is this maximum int divided by 10 which is this which is this element fair enough and last bit last bit which, which is this last bit and how do i get the last bit which is this right so is it greater than that if it is greater than that then if it is equal fair enough now you can you can say it if it is also greater than greater than 7 which is 8 9 then you return 0 right that is what this code is doing so if you see this the last this what is doing is this is the condition same applies for uh, same applies for the um, minimum number and so on and so forth if you see this condition what it does is so for the first time it checks i'll repeat this one more time is output which is let's say the number which we are trying to do is it you know when you divide that by 10 so this comes the number this comes the number if this entire digit result let's say do you have number which is as which is greater than this if it is greater than this you just return to you just return the output as zero if it is equal fair enough if it is equal it is allowed however the last digit should also be less than this so that is how you get the last digit last digit is should be less than less than this uh, if, if it is greater than if it is greater than you return zero if not 
you move on so and so forth similarly you do for lesser elements and so on so forth so that's all guys so i hope you un understood this part this little trickier part if you take this number and then play with this you will understand let me know in your uh, comment section um, just uh, debug with this number take this number and then debug with this number take this number and debug with this number so this number looks similar when you do reverse it may become higher higher than this so, so take out those numbers and then you know uh, debug it put a breakpoint understand this debugging concept you will understand uh, what what is this trying to do so basically it just simply this number if it is greater than this you just return you just return uh, a zero okay if it is equal to we let's check the last number if it is the greater than the last digit of which your number which you are trying to reverse is greater than seven so you basically return zero similarly applies for lesser lesser number the range is same so that is what this code is the code does i already have code here code similar code uh, you know just uh, i'll just run it so this is the trickier part this is the trickier part and you see this output is correct i hope you understood what i'm trying to say here so this is an easy, easier question. Um, please debug and understand what this is trying to do. Put a debugger and understand the control of the code so that you will understand, um, you, will, you can easily uh, you know, understand the flow. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.